Hi, my name is Stefan Hillein from Deep Frames and in this video I will talk about 3ds Max UI. I will show you how to create new objects, how to modify the objects, how to navigate a viewport, how to change the viewport settings and how to manipulate object position, rotation and scale. So in 3ds Max we have a create panel here on the right side. So, and at the moment I have uh, this sphere here selected so I can create uh, very simple objects like a box, a sphere or a cylinder. So I can click on this box here and in the scene I will click and drag and then drag again to uh, finish the box. And so that's the way how new objects are created created with the create panel. I can also create a cylinder now next to the box, so clicking on the cylinder, clicking in the scene, dragging and holding and leaving the mouse and click again. In order to manipulate the objects uh, we have here next to the create panel, I can click on this icon. Um, this is the modify panel. And in 3ds Max, um, to manipulate objects, we use modifiers. So there's a long modifier list. If I click here on modifier list, a long modifier list will open. And I can search for bend. So that's the bend modifier I will apply on this uh, already selected cylinder. So I click on bend and then every um, modifier has several parameters. So I can click on angle here to manipulate this bend. Um, to navigate the scene, there are in the bottom right corner there are eight icons, so it's for viewport navigation these eight icons and I will show you some of them. So there's this, to, to zoom you can use this icon and but you can also zoom with the mouse wheel and uh, panning you can use this hand icon or use the middle mouse button and to orbit around objects uh, this orbit icon will can be used so I can click on this and this yellow gizmo will open and that's the way I can rotate around objects there's also a zoom extends uh, icon, so this will jump right to the selected objects. And here on this maximized viewport toggle, um, when you click on that, you will show, you will see all your four um, viewports. So, and if you click again, uh, this current viewport will be maximized. In now I want to show you how to move, rotate and scale the object. So there are here three icons for that. And I can select move now and then this gizmo will show and I can move it uh, up and down, left and right, also on two axes. And in 3ds Max, this set axis is um, from bottom to top. So it's not like in Maya where the Y axis is bottom to top. In 3ds Max, is the uh, set axis. Uh, to rotate objects, I can select here this rotate icon and rotate it. And scaling works very similar. So scaling the objects this way or that way. Now, when you have rotated the object, um, you can also use the transform co coordinates here on the bottom to enter specific degrees of rotation. So go to rotate and then here on this, in the bottom, you can enter here numbers directly like zero. If I put zero, 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 the object is rotated back to zero and the same 
works with rotation. So I, I select the cylinder and I can right click here also on um, the transform coordinates, uh, which will zero out every value. And as you can see, the cylinder now is in the center of the scene. So in 3 is Max, everything is organized um, with layers, especially for larger scenes. Um, therefore, we have the layer manager, which can be opened with this layer icon. And I will show you here by clicking on the toggle layer explorer, you will see all the layers. At the moment, we only have one layer in the scene. Uh, with two ob objects and I can select here an object from the layer manager and to create a new layer I can click on this plus icon and to hide a layer you can click on this eye icon and to move objects from one layer to the other you can click on an object and drag it here to the layer and then check to hide and unhide it. So that's how the layout manager works. And now I will show you the viewport settings. So here these four drop downs are all for the viewport. And you can here with this one where perspective, you can switch between um, different views. So I can switch to a front view now or to a back view, left view, and back to a perspective view. Um, here's the how the objects are displayed in the scene. So I usually leave it on standard, but you can switch to high quality here to have some shadows in the scene. You can see them between here the objects, the shadow. Or you can go to performance if you have a lot of uh, geometry in the scene, but it will only sh show all the objects in gray. And here this one is how the objects are displayed. So you can use an edged faces to show the wireframe on top of the objects or just show the wireframe mode. Okay, um, Yeah, here on the left side is the V-Ray toolbar, which you will only see if you have V-Ray installed, but here are the most common um, functions for V-Ray, um, very accessible. So uh, also it's very simple to switch to V-Ray as a renderer with the toolbar. You can select an object and click on the sphere icon V-Ray material and it will ask you if you want to change your current render from V-Ray to V-Ray and I will click on yes. And now V-Ray is set as a renderer. Also this icon here uh, will render the current frame. So at the moment it's black because I don't have a light in the scene and to create a light I can click here on V-Ray dome light and click in the scene to have this light created and now I can click again on render current frame and now I have a very basic rendering with shadows um, here. So the next thing I want to show is the render options so these are accessible here in rendering render setup here you can change the size of the rendering so width and height height and all V-Ray most V-Ray parameters um, now uh, the quad menu can be Found. I will close this one and this one and this one. If you select an object and you click with the right mouse button, you will see the quad menu. And here you can find the object properties to set um, properties like 
if the object should be renderable, visible to the camera, receive shadows, cast shadows. And also you can uh, select things like move, rotate and scale here in the quad menu. Um, yeah, uh, also if you need some uh, searching for something very specific, you can use this reuse max help. It's here on the top. So if I go here on help, 3ds max help to open the browser and you have the official 3ds max help. Thanks for listening. I will put a link to this cheat sheet in the description and see you in the next video.